welcome to today's broadcast of Encounter. This week we're going to be talking about friends, some friends that goes the extra mile. Have you ever wished that you had a friend that yes. when you were in dire need, they would go the extra mile to do whatever it takes mm -hmm. yes. to maybe get you to a doctor, especially Dr. Jesus. Yes. Amen. Amen. We're going to be talking about some friends that done this exactly for someone in the Word of God. And if you've got your Bible with you, turn to with us to Mark, the second chapter and the fourth verse. And I'm going to be reading this, and we're going to discuss it. Today I have with me Linda Smotherman and Vicki Sievers. We're going to join together in a study on this, and we hope that you will take notes and, and just let us know if you learn anything mm -hmm. from the Word of God. Amen. 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 So let's get into the text. It says, I'm going to start with the first verse today. It says, And again he entered into Capernaum after some days. And it was noise that he was in the house. And what we're talking about, they're talking about Jesus. Jesus was in the house, Jesus praise God. Was. And straightway many were gathered together, insomuch that there was no room to receive them. No, not so much as about the, the door. He preached the word unto them, and they came unto him, bringing one sick of palsy, which was born of four. And when they could not come nigh unto him for the press, they uncovered the roof mm -hmm. where he was, and when they had broken it up, they let down the bed wherein the sick of palsy lay. Now, can you imagine that? <laughs> they have heard this, the, this man called mm -hmm. Jesus had come into the area, and they were willing they were yes. willing to do what it takes to see that their friend got a touch from Jesus, yes. that he got healed. But when they got there, Sister Vicki, I mean, there's a crowd. They couldn't get through. They couldn't right. even press through. So what, what did they do? I, I could just see it. You know, they go around to the back of the house, climb up on the roof, and start tearing at it, tearing yes. the hole. Yes. And, and you know they had to have ropes or something on, on that that stretcher or whatever yes. their friend was yes. on to let him, let him down. Go, yes. Now, how powerful is it? How awesome is that to have a friend like that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and I was, extra it's mile. just amazing. It's just amazing. Yes. Amen. It Amen. Yeah. We, uh, we just got to know that, you know, sometimes you've got to go that extra mile. Right. Yes. You've got to go that, you know, that extra touch to do what it takes. No, I am thankful and I am blessed that I've got friends that would do that for me right, that's right. if it required. Now, you know, I don't, you know, I don't know how much trouble we'd get in if we tear somebody's roof <laughs> off today. But you know, it applies. It applies. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Yeah. If we're acting up on the word of God. Exactly. Amen, Sister Linda. Exactly. Yes. Now, I like what it said. And when Jesus saw their mm -hmm. faith, yes, they yeah, yeah, verse their five. Faith in action and God and Jesus saw their faith yes you mm -hmm. know and we can do mm -hmm. a lot of talking yes yes and we can sound real good and say all the right things yes. but faith without corresponding action yes. stands Amen. alone Amen. that's wonderful Amen. so that's wonderful God wants to see our faith yes. our trust yes. in yes. him yes. you know it's one thing to just do a lot of talking and saying all the right <laughs> words but Put faith and action, action together, amen. and you'll get results. Amen. Mm -hmm. amen. Don't be just hearers of the Word, but be doers, doers of, of the Word. word. Yes. Amen. Yes. Well, amen. I'm going to read that scripture. It's in verse yeah. 5. When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of palsy, Son, thy oh, sins yes. be forgiven. Praise God. Amen. Thy sins amen. be forgiven. Now, I'm reminded of a scripture where it talks about that he would that we prosper even as our souls Soul prospers. prospers. That's right. So that lets me know what's most important, mm -hmm. you guys, yes. uh, is that uh, our soul yes. prospers. So the Word of God says to seek ye the kingdom of the God, God first, first, and yes. all these things will be added right. unto That's you. Right. So if we continue to follow that path, he, see, what's so wonderful is that He lays the road map out for us. Right. Yes. We just got to follow it. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. You know, and I'm bad on directions sometimes. <laughs> you know, thank God for GPS. Yeah. But Amen. sometimes they can steer you wrong. <laughs> and sometimes we don't listen to them. Oh, they That's don't know right. what That's they're right. talking That's about. Right. That's yeah. right. But you know, uh, we can rely on the Word of God. Right. That's right. Right. This Amen. Is, this is our, um, the path that we should take, the path that we live by, 
and know that God won't, he, he won't steer us wrong. He no. won't steer you wrong. Right. Can exactly. you just imagine how lost we truly would be mm -hmm. without this map? That's right. Yes. That's, That's right. right. Yeah. There's an old song called, I'm reading my Bible for a road map. I don't yes. know if any of you know that, <laughs> but it's an old, so old song, but it's wonderful. Yes. And, and it is. It's a road map. I've, uh, I read one time, uh, B-I-B-L-E. That's a book for me. <laughs> yes. It stands uh, for basic instructions before leaving earth. Amen. Amen. I like so that. So it's good. Yeah, it's good. good. It, it, I love these little sayings, these little quotes, mm -hmm. because they stick in your mind. Yes. And, uh, and we were talking about you know, songs sticking into your mind, and we'll go around humming them for days mm -hmm. at a time. But, you know, that's the joy within us. Yes. Right. Right. That's God, the Spirit within us, uh, just uh, encouraging us. And lifting us up. Yes. There's many times praise that when we Jesus. feel down and we feel out, but if we'll just put our praise garment on. Yes. Praise yes. God. If you'll just pick up your praise garment, put it on, and start mm -hmm. praising the Lord, things will start to happen. You'll start feeling better. And uh, this story of the friends. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, I remember reading this as, as a child and thinking, what? You know, mm -hmm. I, my mom. My mom would just, you know, she would just laugh at some of the questions I would ask her because, mm -hmm. but I was very inquisitive. Uh, and, you know, I wanted, when I wanted to know, I wanted to know, you right, know. Right, right. But uh, she's always told me there's, uh, there's no stupid questions. Right. When no. it comes to the Word of God, if you want to know, you've got to and learn. You've got to ask. Just ask. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And wouldn't it be, it, it's just nice to know that you have friends. Mm -hmm that will yes. go that yes. extra oh, mile. Yes. Yes. And that's why, you know, we're not islands to ourselves. No. no. We no. need no. Uh, connections with other people because I may be down mm -hmm. and Vicki's up that day mm -hmm. and right. Vicki will give me a word of encouragement that will keep me going. That's right. Yes. And then yes. vice versa, you could be down That's right. and God would have me to speak into your life Amen. and encourage you. Amen. So it's real important to have those steadfast friends because we're all not going to be up Amen. all at one time. Amen. Amen. Praise God, we're not That's all right. going to be down Hallelujah. at one time. Well, I believe it says in Ecclesiastes somewhere, I'm not sure on the chapter and the verse, but it talks about it's better to have two because, I mean, you know, when one is up, the other one's down. They can lift right. one another yes. up one and one encourage one another. Exactly. Amen. Amen. Exactly. exactly. When, when, when you read, when you were reading the story, did God give you any thoughts? <laughs> well, my pastor, as Sunday, as he said, and I can't remember exactly how he put it, but uh, if we want from God what God has for mm -hmm. us, then we must be obedient to God. Yes. Right, mm -hmm. right. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, being obedient to God, to me, is the most amazing feeling mm -hmm. I could ever have. Amen. Amazing. You know, um, I can't imagine. I can't imagine going backwards and living my life without God. That's right. I, ju Amen. I just can't. I, I really wouldn't even want to. Well, you know, the being obedient, see, that, that's an action. That's yes. an action. We've yes. got to, uh, yes. we've got to learn it. We, there, we want things, we want God to work in our lives, uh -huh. but uh, we, we want it on our yes. turn. Yes. On our yes. turns. Yes. Yeah. Amen. So I'm sure, you know, you guys out there watching this and everything, you're listening to all three of us and everything, but God wants you to be obedient to His Word. Yes, He does. He wants you to be trusting in Him. Right. He wants you not to be only a hearer of the Word, but a doer of the Word. Right. And Amen. when we do these things, and when we have that action, when we step out and have that action, that's when these things are going to start happening. We're going to be blessed. That's in the right. Scripture, it says, He mm -hmm. saw the faith. He saw their faith. Yes. And I mean, it, that had to be faith. great faith yes. for Him to yes. see yes. that. But I'm yes. going to read on down through there. Glory mm -hmm. to God. And uh, Jesus. It, I believe it says uh, in the seventh verse, they began to say, Why doeth this man thus speak blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God only? And immediately when Jesus perceived in his spirit that they reasoned within themselves. Mm -hmm. See, we do that, don't we? Quite yeah, often we, we, re yeah. we reason within <laughs> ourselves. Why reason in these things in your hearts? Whether it is easier to say to the sick of the palsy, thy sins be forgiven thee. Or to say, I love this part, <laughs> arise, arise and glory. take thy bed and walk. walk. Yes. Hallelujah. Action. Jesus. Action. Yes. Yeah. You know, 
he could have laid on that bed. You know, they could tell him you're healed. Or... He could lay on that bed. I don't believe I can get uh -huh. up. That's right. He would have never been healed. He was yeah. right. Walk. Amen. But the word of Jesus said, Arise, take up thy bed and walk. What he was saying, you pick up that burden and you just carry it off somewhere. Yes. You, know? yeah. you yeah. cast it aside. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. And those friends, they had to do something that was not convenient for them. And possibly hmm. embarrassed. Right. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. you know that they were having thoughts. Well, you know, we can't do this. What are they going to do if we tear off the roof? But you know what? It didn't matter. Mm, that's right. They mm. wanted to get, get to, to Jesus. Jesus. Amen. And when Amen. we really Amen. in our hearts want to get to Jesus, <laughs> yes. we'll do whatever Amen. it takes Amen. to get there. Amen. <laughs> if it means tearing off a roof. You know, and they, they let him down in the power. Mm. Mm -hmm. of God. That's right. Amen. That man was let down in the power right. of God. I believe mm -hmm. it was ordained from the beginning for them to do that. Mm -hmm. That he lined that man with the palsy up with the greatest friends he could have. Yes. Right. And mm -hmm. even at the possibility they could be arrested. Right. That's right. But they went on. They, they persevered. Went on. They and they done what they had to see their friend that's see right. that man Jesus right. and get a touch from him. Yes. Praise yes. God. Yes. How far are you willing to go today? Yes. yes. How far? How far are you willing to go mm -hmm. to get that touch from Jesus? That's right. Are you willing to be obedient? Are you willing to dig deeper into the Word of God? Are you willing to cry out to Him to travail? Mm -hmm. yes. Are you willing to... How many of us have said, Lord, whatever it takes, mm -hmm. yes. you know, Lord, just take this for me. Mm -hmm. you know, I'll do it. We try to bargain with God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you do this, I'll do that. Uh -huh. you know? It don't work that way. <laughs> no. <laughs> and when it's a hard thing. Right. You know, sometimes we want to do things for God if it's easy. That's but right. if it don't cost us anything, mm -hmm. then it's not anything. You know, and sometimes everything's not going to be easy. Every every day there's going to be challenges, and but you have to be persistent, and you have to press through. Yes, right. I'm going after my mm -hmm. blessing. Yes. Yes. I'm yes. going <laughs> after what God has said I can have, and I'm not going to back down, even That's right. no matter what I have Amen. to do. To get to Jesus, yes. I'm going to get to Jesus. Amen. And I believe that that's, I, I just believe that there's people out there and that's being stirred back yes, up. Amen. It's been laying amen. dormant. Yes. Now amen. it's coming alive. Amen. It's coming you begin alive. to feel those things. Yes. 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 The blessings will chase you down. Exactly. You know, I never quite understood that, you know, that scripture because of, why would somebody run from the blessings right. of God? <laughs> but when you're, when you're out in sin and uh, you don't realize it's blessings, uh, maybe a family member is trying to get you one over for the Lord, mm -hmm. get you to give your heart to God. Mm -hmm. you know, you're, uh, when you're in sin, you're thinking of all the things that you're going to have to give up. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> and you don't think of these things that's coming, the blessings that that's are coming. Right. But, uh, you know, one day I realized, you know what, I've got to stop right where I'm at. And just let these blessings catch up with me. Right. Yeah. Yes. Amen. <laughs> and boy, did they ever. Yes. Amen. Bless God. coming in and bless going out. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 I mean, yes, God's yes. word is awesome. It's, <laughs> and it says it, it will not return void. That's right. We call those things that be not as though they were. Mm -hmm. Yes. And if you have a need in your life today, start calling it out. Right. Start calling it out That's as right. though it, you already mm -hmm. received it. Praise God. I have this thing. I call it the three P's. I may have said this before on a previous program. Prayer, praise, praise and prosper. prosper. When you pray, praise you, you praise Him for the answer. Right. And guess what? You're going to get the answer. You're going to prosper right. with the answer. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you know, you know, I'll try to remember that. You know, I pray and I start praising God for mm -hmm. it. And before I know it, I see the fruition yes. Yes. of the answer to the prayer. Right. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. And there's no greater prayer answered than the prayer of salvation for someone when you right. see someone yes. saved. Amen. Amen. Let's read another scripture through here. Praise you, Jesus. I'm going to go to verse 12. And immediately... All right. Oh, yes. Woo. Yes, woo. That's, um, here's immediately. <laughs> Suddenly. Yes. Suddenly. And immediately he rose, arose, took up the bed, Glory and went God. forth 
Yes. Before them all. Okay. He's walking in front of all these people yes. that probably couldn't believe and you didn't yeah, believe that Jesus right. was here. He can't do that. <laughs> that's all I want someone was saying. He can't, can't do walk. that. Right. 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 <laughs> but he's he's proven them wrong. Yes, right? yes, yes. Insomuch yes. that they were all amazed, amazed and, and glorified amazed. God, saying, we never saw it on this fashion. In um, other words, they never saw it in that depth. They never saw that power to that level. Right. Praise God. What the Lord could do. But he immediately arose and took up his bed. I love the part where he says he went forth before the mile. So, I mean, it's just like, you know, he's walking with Christ. Yes. Look at me. Yeah. I'm walking. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. and, the, and praising God the whole time. That's and right. you know what? There was probably people on the side <laughs> saying, well, who do you think you are? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a child of the Most High <laughs> yeah. God. Yes. Hallelujah. Jesus. Praise Amen. God. Amen. You know, it's, how many do we, I mean, we see mm -hmm. people like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, you'll oh, invite man. someone to maybe uh, there's a healing service or something. And... Um, Many of you out there may have uh, gone to a service. You've gone. You went there specifically to get prayed for, to be healed, and um, or you carried someone. Yes. Mm. And but the person is going without. You know, and nothing happened. Well, I knew it wasn't going to happen anyway. Yeah, I didn't get Aww. anything. I didn't I get anything. Well, see, you've got to walk in with the right attitude. That's mm -hmm. right. You got to walk in expecting. Expecting. Yes. That spirit of expectancy. Mm -hmm. That's right. To yeah. receive from God. And the reason he saw that spirit of expectancy really relates down to faith. That's, That's what right. It means. That's right. Faith is a great expectation. That's yes, right. yeah. yes. And that's why he was he was mm -hmm. healed. Because he saw his faith. Mm -hmm. That's right. Does Jesus see your faith today right. when you're yes. calling out to him for something? Amen. When you're uh, does he hear or I can, does he hear your praise, no matter the circumstance? You know, I remember my grandmother, she, she used to, uh, she was just riddled with uh, severe arthritis, but she'd be in so much pain, but, you know, she would lay there and just praise God. She Amen. would sing praises to God yes. until she fell asleep. Wow. That got her, her body calmed down and tuned with yes. the spirit mm -hmm. within right. her. So that she could rest in him. Yes. So praise is a powerful weapon. Right. That's yes. why I say put on your yes. praise garment right. all the time. Right. Put it on. Praise God despite the circumstances in your life. Mm -hmm. Just That's lift right. him up. Amen. Yes, amen. This man mm. got up and walked. Amen. Yes. Amen. Glory. Does this not remind you of when Peter and John was going into the temple? And the lame man was sitting there, mm -hmm. and he was looking up on them to receive yes, something. Yes, yes. He was, yes. you know, money, you know, mm -hmm. he was a beggar, Still you know, give me money. And they looked at him, because and the word says he was expecting something. Mm -hmm. He was expecting, you know, money. But they looked at him, and they said, Silver and gold have I none. Yes, hallelujah. Such as I have, give I thee. Yes. In the name so, of hallelujah. Jesus, yes. rise up uh, and walk. walk. And the man rose up, mm -hmm. and he leaped, and he jumped, and he gave glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Isn't that good? Oh, hallelujah. And he's the same yesterday, and today, today, today for and forever. And that's what he's saying to us. Mm -hmm. Arise, yes. take up the your bed, bed, and walk. walk. Hallelujah. Do something that you could not do. That's it's right. time to get up. It's time it to is. get up. It is. Yeah. It's, it's time, time to get up. up. We have come to a point in this time, in this era, that the church has got to get up. It's got to get up right. and do what they're supposed to be doing. That's right. If the church, uh, I believe that this is my personal opinion. It, it's it's not in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's your personal conviction. It's your yes. conviction. Well, I'll say it's out of the book of Deborah. <laughs> but uh, the church, if the church had been doing what it was supposed to be doing, like the Church of Acts, and now we mm -hmm. talked about this earlier, yes. uh, doing what we were called to do, we wouldn't see the things that's been happening in, in our world world today. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. We we need to rise up. 
Yes. We need to toss out all these, you know, these this worldly things. Mm -hmm. We've allowed the world to come in and just take over so much that you can't tell the difference between church and the world sometimes. No, you, can't. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, you know, I hope I don't offend anyone, but I'm just speaking truth. This is it my is opinion. True. But uh, true. if we want to get to a point where that like we had on the previous program last week, living a resurrected life. Yeah. If we want to get truly get to that point, we've got to learn to do exactly what the what? Word of yes. God says, to mm -hmm. be obedient, like you said, Sister Vicki, mm -hmm. to the Word of God. Right. When God speaks, don't question it. Jump and do Just it. Just do it. That's Just right. You know, there's two words that's coming to my mind right now. It's murmuring and complaining. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we would just learn to just stop complaining about it mm -hmm. and stop fighting God and mm -hmm. just let go and just start praising and just, just praise. Mm -hmm. well, did, uh, oh. I, you, know, you often wonder if the, this man... A sick man with palsy, mm -hmm. if he ha ever had a negative thought or if he ever complained mm -hmm. about it. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. sure we all do at times, no, mm -hmm. yeah. but we yeah. get forgiveness yeah. for it. But, you know, in the end here, he saw how great his faith was. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. That's the kind of faith we should strive for. That's right. Yeah. The Word of God says, and we're all familiar mm -hmm. with it, uh, just a, t a tiny grain of grain mustard, of mustard seed. seed. Yes. Faith. That's all it takes to <laughs> <Yeah>. do it. <laughs> mustard <laughs> seed faith. Mustard yes, seed not faith. Very much. <laughs> and it, you know, when you think about it, that's not enough. But if you plant that seed, do you know how big those Ooh. plants get? Yeah, it's going to yes. grow. It's just huge. Mm, that's right. So today, it takes all you've got to have, my friends, is yes, a tiny yes. grain of mustard yes. seed yes. faith. Yes. Amen. A mustard seed faith. That's all Amen. Jesus is looking for. Right. That's and right. I've said this often before, too. It's a, you can be in a crowd of millions. Mm -hmm. And if you've got a need in your life and you've got that, that, that small faith, Jesus will pass over all these people. Yes. Just He's He doesn't have to have a faith. GPS. That's he can right. see yeah. your faith. Yes. He Amen. can see it. Uh, over <laughs> all those millions of people, <laughs> He can see where that faith is coming from. I believe it just <laughs> emanates the, you know, uh, yes. before the Lord, and He sees it, and He said, that's my child. That's yeah. right. Amen. You know, and He goes, go bless Him. Right. Amen. Yes. And, and I, I believe that with all my heart. Yes. That, but that's the kind of faith that all it takes. That's yeah. right. And his mm -hmm. eyes are looking to and fro all over the earth, yes. Yes. looking for someone that he can show himself mm -hmm. strong on their yes. behalf. Yes. And you remember the lady with the issue of blood. Mm -hmm. yes. There was great thrones all around, all kind of people around. Yes, but she kept pushing through and pushing, pushing. through, pushing through. Yes. Not giving up. <laughs> Not giving up. Amen. She was determined, I'm going to get to Jesus. Amen. I'm Amen. going to get to Jesus. Oh. And he Amen. perceived, he sensed it inside of him that <laughs> someone had touched yes, him yes, with yes, faith. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. And she got what she went oh, looking Jesus. for. That's right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Keyword. Yeah, you know, yeah, I'm big on keyword. <laughs> yeah. She went looking. Yes. yes. You she gotta, didn't give up. You got to seek. You got yeah. to seek after these things. Yes. Don't give up Don't because give you're up. not seeing it right away. Don't give up because you're not hearing things right away. Uh, right. You know, the good reports. <laughs> Maybe someone out there has been getting you know, negative reports from the doctor. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're not hearing re good reports right, right away, even though they've had treatments or they've right. had this or right. that. Don't give That's up. Right. That's right. God has not forsaken you. No. That's right, because God's timing is different from our That's timing. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, well, one day to us is a thousand years to <laughs> That's him. That's right. right. Hallelujah. That's Praise right. God. That's right. But this study, is, it, it's, it's been so good. I, it yes. encourages me to know that when I'm sick in body, when I was mm -hmm. going through you know, the sickness that I had, that um, I had peace. People were telling me, you know, I just don't understand. They told me afterwards that you just, you just seem like, you know, what's it bothering you? It's like it, you know. <laughs> but, you know, I, I serve a great God. He gives yes. you peace over Amen. me. He does great things. And he will give you peace today. Amen. No In matter what you're stones. going through. Peace, peace, he peace. just wants yes. you to, spiritually speaking, pick up your bed. Arise. Yes. Pick up your bed and walk. Mm. Walk in His anointing. Amen. Yes. Walk in the Amen. promises that He has given Amen. you today. Right. Well, we're going to have prayer now, Praise and I'm, Jesus. I'm just going to, we're just going to pray.
Lord, all everyone out there that's watching the program. Father God, we just come before you right Jesus. now. Jesus. And we yes. lift the viewing Jesus. audience yes. up to you right yes. now. Yes. Thank you. Go into their Minister homes right where they're Lord. at. You know the, the very need. Jesus. We don't have to know the need of their, their request. But God, we pray that Thank you send you, the Lord. Holy Ghost into the room right yes. where they're at. The and Jesus. we come against the spirit of cancer. Yes. We come yes. against the spirit yes. of, of diabetes. Yes. We come against the spirit of heart disease, mm-hmm. liver yes. disease back pain and I'm speaking to someone right now I I come against the spirit of deafness that the enemy is trying to come against you right now you reach out and claim your healing today you reach out and trust in God and know that he is the great omnipotent God he is the healer he is the physician he is your banker whatever your need is today he will meet you right where you're at praise God hallelujah amen Thank you, Jesus. I just, I, he's the great I am. <laughs> Lord, we just get excited praying. Yes. Hallelujah, we? Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah we, Jesus. We're just so um, enthused over you watching the program. We know that you're not watching yes. it by accident. No. We know that it was mm-hmm. God ordained for you yes. to turn the channel and watch it wherever you're at. And we encourage you. We would love to hear from you. Yes. Please email us, write us, or call us. And just know that we want to respond to you. We want, if you received a healing or if yes, you gave your heart know. to Christ, yes. let us know. That will encourage yes. us yes. to know that mm-hmm. God is still on it. He's still, we don't have to know, but we'd love to know just yes. to encourage yes. us. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. That you can have that encounter today with God. Yes. Amen. And we want that encounter for you. So until next time, walk in love and keep your faith. Amen. We'll see you next week. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs>